Hey guys, it's David here from Breakthrough Maths and welcome to this video on how to solve fractions in algebra. This question comes from the 2020 Ordinary Level Exam paper. It's paper one, question two, and we're going to be doing part A. So in this question, simply we're asked to solve the equation 9x minus 6 over 2 equals 3x minus 14 over 3 plus 9x over 4. So when you're adding and subtracting fractions like this in algebra, or any fractions, the denominators or bottom lines must be the same. For example, if you add 2 over 5 plus 3 over 10, you cannot add them unless the denominators are the same. So we can multiply the 2 over 5 by 2 over 2, which is just 1, so we're keeping it the same value, but we can do that, which would give us 4 over 10 plus 3 over 10, and then we can add them to get 7 over 10. So the same concept applies here. We need to find a denominator that is common to all of them. One simple way of finding a denominator that's common to all of your fractions is to multiply all your denominators. So we have 2 by 3 is 6, and by 4 is 24. However, there's a lower one here, which is 12, so we're going to use that. All three of these denominators here divide evenly into 12. So what we're going to do is multiply all of our fractions by 12 in order to get rid of our lower line, get rid of our denominators. So we're going to do 12 by 9x minus 6 over 2 equals 12 by 3x minus 14 over 3 plus 12 by 9x over 4. And now 12 over 2 will become 6. So we'll have 6 times 9x minus 6 equals 4 times 3x minus 14 plus 3 times 9x. Now we can multiply out our fractions, multiply out our brackets, and we're going to do the term outside multiplied by all the terms inside. So we have 6 by 9x will give us 54x. 6 by minus 6 will give us minus 36. 4 by 3x will give us 12x. 4 by minus 14, minus 56, plus 27x. So now we can bring all our x's to one side and all our constants to the other. So we're going to have 54x minus 12x plus minus 27x equals plus 36, we'll bring this one over, minus 56. So 54 minus 12 will give us 42, minus 27 will give us 15x equals minus 20, and x equals minus 20 over 15, or if we want to simplify it, minus 4 over 3. So now you know how to solve fractions in algebra. The key is to make sure that your denominator is the same. You want to find the lowest common denominator, but you can either do that by just finding the lowest common denominator or by multiplying all three of your denominators together. Then when you have your denominator that's common to all of your fractions, you can multiply that by all of your fractions to get rid of all the fractions. And then you just have a simple equation in X with no fractions, which you can solve by getting all your X to one side and all your constants to the other. If you repeat that process every time you see a question like this, you'll have no problem if something like this comes up on your exam.